and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very exciting video because in today's video I'm going to be showing you what I have made with the Cricut Maker 3. They are all beginner friendly projects and so easy and simple to do and I'm going to be showing you what I've done with mine today so I'm so excited about that. Thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this part of today's video and sending me the Cricut Maker 3. So what does a Cricut do? A Cricut is a cutting machine that is great for crafters and DIYers that love to make projects, design their own things. It's great for personalization. It's great for such a wide variety of projects. I'm gonna be talking about the Cricut Maker 3 today, but they do in fact have a wide variety of machines and options all depending on what suits your needs and your budget. So they do anything from the Cricut Joy up to the Cricut Maker 3, and they also have an Easy Press, which does transfers and stuff like that. So all depending on what projects you wanna make and your budget is all dependent on which machine you should go for. So definitely check them out for any different ones that you might wanna have a look at. I'm gonna leave this Maker 3 linked below because that's the one I'm talking about in today's video. The Cricut Maker 3 is absolutely amazing because it actually cuts over 300 different materials. It cuts anything from crepe paper to cardstock to vinyl, it does thin wood, it does leather, it does so many different materials in just one machine. It also has a lot of tools which allows you to cut, to draw, to deboss, to engrave. It does so many different things, literally in one machine. So for that reason, it is an amazing investment. All depending on if you want to use it around the house or just as your hobby, or you could even get a machine like this and you can make some money on the side and do a bit of crafting. It's always a good option to do that, to earn a little bit extra on the side. So easy to set up, all that you do is that and it will open up for you. There is literally two buttons you will work with and you'll be guided by the design space. So on the design space is where you would actually create all of your projects and design all of your projects. They have so many different ideas for you. So if you're thinking, I don't know what I wanna make, they've got so many things that you can just do. You don't have to create and design it yourself, but you can also, you can choose those different fonts. It has so many things on there, it's amazing. Design space can also be accessed on a desktop, computer, or a mobile, so you can access it from anywhere. And another feature I really like is that this has Bluetooth, which means less cables, means less mess whilst you're working. So if you're on in your workspace and you've got all of these cutting things around you, you've got vinyl everywhere, you don't really wanna have an extra cable that you just don't need um, to be hanging around and making a mess and ruining your workspace. So I really love the fact that it's got Bluetooth. And on here, it's got a little ledge where you can put an iPad or a, your phone whilst you're creating, which again, is all nice and compact and frees up the space around you so that you can get crafting. So let's get started and show you what I have made and how easy and simple they really are. So I'm gonna give you a quick look at the machine itself. So if you just open that like that, it so, slowly opens by itself, which is really nice little touch there. As you can see, in this, it has a little secret department, which is always handy to hold all of the tools. You can get you can get these tools from Cricut. Uh, they come in a set. So the set actually includes this to be able to cut the material. And this is also the tools that you get in that set and um, that you buy separately. But it's great having that little place for it. So first up, if you remember in my hamper video, I showed you this gift bag. And these are, like I said, so perfect for all year round. This was such a perfect opportunity to personalize for Christmas. So for the first project, all I done was personalize this gift bag for Isabella for Christmas. Perfect thing to personalize is gift bags, gift boxes. It just looks so nice. And look at that gold, it literally goes with the bow so well. Um, so yeah, I love that idea of just personalizing anything, if I'm honest, because I just love personalizing stuff. But it was really easy to do when you're doing like a name or anything. All you have to do is pick a font from the design space and cut it out with the Cricut machine and then weed it out, put the transfer paper over the top, peel it off and then stick it on and peel it off the, the project. So it really is that easy. 
So that was the first idea for my project, very easy one. Then we have a Christmas one, which I'm gonna show you the closer because you're not gonna see it from here. This is Christmas with the Fosters. So, I'm actually done with this. I'll quickly explain before I show you it properly. I used a Poundland um, photo frame and I took out the back. So this is glass, which is why I left the frame on because then it keeps it secure and I've closed it in. And I loved the idea of like acrylic and glass with writing on and making it a sign. So I thought I would try this out with the Poundland photo frame because it was only a pound. But you can also get the acrylic ones from Hobbycraft, but it's a little bit more expensive. And I just wanted to do it as a bit of a bargain. So I have put on there personalised Christmas with the Fosters. So I'm obviously not a Foster yet, but we won't talk about that too much yet because we will have a wedding one day, I promise. But yeah, I'm going to put some more down here, I think. I think I'm going to put some snowflakes to make it a little bit more Christmassy. But this is lovely anywhere in the house, but also nice, I suppose, on the Christmas dinner table. I thought it was a really cute idea. So yeah, love the um, look of that sign. Very personalised to our household. The next project that I did was actually this scrapbook. Scrapbooks are such a good idea for like Christmas birthdays. It's a gift idea. And to personalise them is even better. Now, I've had a little bit of a problem with this particular scrapbook. Nothing to do with the cricket. It was to do with the actual scrapbook. I got this. It was a bargain. I got the scrapbook from Primark. It's £2.50. Absolute bargain. However, when I took the sticker off, the original sticker from the shop, it ripped it on that side and that side. So be careful when you're taking them off because they do rip. So I've had to put the football here. I originally wanted this football down here and this higher. But because of that, I had to hide it. It's a bit of a shame. But even still, I've got Isabella's football memories. So if you don't already know, Isabella is my daughter and she is obsessed, absolutely obsessed with football. She's really, really good at it. And I thought this was a lovely idea to do a little scrapbook. She could put any of her favourite football players in there. Uh, pictures, quotes, and her own football team um, because she loves doing that on like TikTok, TikTok and stuff. So I thought it was quite a cool idea and she would really enjoy that. So that's a good gift idea. And you could also do like photo memories or anything personalised to whoever you're making it for. So yeah, loved that idea. Um, and just see what I mean. You just get something a little bit more when you personalise it. Do you know what I mean? Like you can't really find it in the shops. So love it. Right, so the next thing I made is very, very Christmassy, and it is this Christmas cushion. I got this Christmas uh, velvet red cover from Primark, £2.50, bargain, and I really wanted to do an iron on it. On it. So I put some vinyl on it. I actually got this bit from the design space um, in the Cricut. It was already done, and I just used it with a white glitter iron-on vinyl. I just put it's just Merry Christmas and I already got it from the ideas you can get so like images that you can search for on design space I do actually pay £7.99 a month for access so that I can get more options because I love the idea of having all the options uh, you don't have to do that but I did and I have a lot thousands and thousands and thousands of options of things I can create so I like that. But Merry Christmas. And I just thought, how festive. And you know what? You know when you can't find something in particular, it's a really good opportunity to have something like a cricket because you can obviously make anything that you want. So if you can't get it because you're in the UK and only America sell it, then you can make it yourself. So that's what I do love about making your own stuff. You can just create the thing that you, the idea you have instead of looking for it in the shops and not finding it because I know that can be frustrating. So yeah, love my cushion. Staying on the theme of iron-on, I really wanted to create this, and this is exactly what I meant by if it's in America and you can't get it in the UK. I'm one of those, can't really get it. TK Maxx might sell them sometimes, but they can be expensive because they, I suppose they're imported. So I made a towel that looks very similar to the dupe of something um, in America. And it says joy. And I just thought, how cute is that? The towel I got from Primark, I think it was like three pound or something. And then let me fix it a bit. And then I just ironed on the simple joy. And obviously you can personalize that to anything you can do Christmas. So it's really good for seasonal things actually, because you can just personalize things and get, you know, seasonal stuff that you want. So yeah, love the black simple. I like how simple that is. That is really nice how simple that is. 
So yeah, I absolutely love the towel. Right, now this has got to be one of my favorite things. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, I love more everything, but I really love this. It's so simple, such an easy project, but it looks so expensive now. So I got this, I'm gonna show you the front in a minute, but I got this planner from Poundland, but it was three pound, I believe. It was three pounds, it's got a lot inside, amazing. Dream big, work hard, and then I've personalized it. So just to let you know, it is my name because this was already mine. <laughs> but how cute is that, especially for a Christmas gift, or any time of the year, obviously, and it says Siobhan, and I love the signature of that. I love that that writing, that's obviously a font from um, Cricut, and it looks so, so nice. It just looks expensive. It really looks really nice. And yeah, I love the idea of that for a planner. It's really good for a Christmas idea, birthday, or just if you're planning to get a planner in the uh, new year, you know? It just looks so much more expensive, and I just, I just love it. I absolutely love it. Again, another easy one, because it's just a name, and the, the, fa uh, the vinyl is so easy to work with. It's really, really good. Now, I didn't just stop there. Another easy one, because again, it's the same design, but using it on a different project, and that is my jewellery case, so my jewellery box, sorry. So the jewellery box, I've just put my name, the exact same thing that I had on the planner and I've just put it on my jewellery box. So again, a lovely idea for a gift because um, obviously you buy things like jewellery boxes and stuff like that, it's just so nice to personalise it. Now it looks really expensive um, and yeah, I really like that. I love that it's got like a signature style. It looks so, so nice. And it's just personalised, love personalised stuff. Now, you didn't think I was going to be, you know, doing all of these projects without doing something to do with my channel and my cleaning, did you? No, because obviously you know you can make these with the Cricut. I'm assuming you do. But if you didn't know, this is what you can make. And I've made this very personalised to me. And now I've got my own spray bottle that says it. So I'll be running around the house doing it all with this spray bottle, I will say. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love that as well. I just had to do a spray bottle, didn't I? My own design of my spray bottle. But again, there's another font from Cricut. So yeah, really easy, easy projects to do, but change everything completely. And it's so fun, but it's really also quite addictive. So that was everything that I made with the Cricut Maker 3. Make sure you go and check the Cricut out. I'll leave the link in the description to the one that I have, but there are a wide variety of different machines and stuff like that from different projects and different budgets. So definitely check them out. I hope that you've enjoyed watching exactly what I've been able to make with this beautiful machine and how easy it actually was because believe you me, I might have done DIY and everyone thinks I can do it, which I can, but I'm not that great. So I will say it is honestly really easy. I've been able to do it on camera with you. This is the first time I've used it literally on camera and I can't believe how easy all of the projects are and I can't wait now to go and make some more. I'm so excited. So let me know in the comments what your favorite item was that I made. I can't, I can't pick what my favourite is because obviously I made them, so I love them all. <laughs> but I do love the signature name. I love the font of that. I love the cushion. I love the everything. I love the thing I, Isabella is going to really love. That scrapbook, so so good. So if you did like today's video, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Ooh.